asked Jesus many years ago, I asked him, how did you raise disciples and apostles in three and a half years? I don't want to waste my time and say I'm doing ministry. You know, sometimes people tell you, it takes 30 years. Many times it's because of disobedience in the part of the people hearing the word. That's why they stay 30 years. 30 years to know what? Who is your standard? The word of God or people's experiences? People's tales of how they tried and failed. That's your standard. If they tell you it's by 40, you need to ask, is it what the Bible is saying? Or is it my disobedience? If it's your disobedience, you say you quickly tell yourself, let the word of God be true. Let every man be a liar, including me. And you journey and leper. Somebody like Paul will say, I beat, I beat my body. I beat my body. The reason why I have to go like this is that for us, there is no time. Can't you see it? A generation is beckoning with force. They don't even mind how, how, how young you are. Can't you feel the weight of responsibility on your shoulders? Just because you have not been holding mic, you, when you pray, it seems as if a weight of a generation is on you. Can't you feel it? You don't need mic to feel the weight of the need and travail of a generation upon your shoulders. You just need to catch a little burden in the place of prayer and then you will realize that there is a need everywhere. Everywhere you turn in this generation, there is need. And there is cry for men to stand up. God, so when you are ready at 18, you become that man. If you become ready at 70, it's okay for you. When do you want to be ready? Satisfy me, Ellie. The thing is that it is neither Jesus, nor the template, nor the Holy Ghost. The problem, the distance is always found in men. Either in the men teaching, in how they are teaching, in what they are teaching, or the men receiving, in how they are receiving, and what they are receiving. Imagine them telling us that speaking in tongues is is demon and for many years imagine oh my god what did i do imagine if we started speaking in tongues groaning since you were 10 years old and now you are 30 years for 20 years for two decades of your life you are doing for two decades <laughs> it is not just that you will conquer the foundations of your family you will disciple them yes part of the reason why we grow and raise this order is so that a new pattern of priesthood will be set in your family don't be selfish the way things are going in your family is not God's intent it's, it's not God's original plan meanwhile are you getting the point it takes a new pattern of priesthood it's not by Christ oh God why, why will you change you my family why is it only me why won't it be only you why won't it be only you keep crying the day you will wake up you find out that the sun will shine Huh? The rain will still fall. And if you carelessly die, they will welcome you to heaven. Which one? What was that one they told us? They said they would drop red carpet. <laughs> I, Pastor came yesterday and said he will not die like a coward. There is a way men are welcome to heaven. When real men die, the signs we litter at the skies we bear women and then when they appear in heaven they will receive a standing ovation 
because when they walked earth they walked like gods and they wrote their name in the sands of time and eternity reckoned eternity reckoned and eternity welcomed them it is not it is not because they are bigger men than us it is because it seems as if they understood more about what god wants to do what it takes when others are doing many things they are doing the exact thing that it takes and suddenly after some time they separated themselves are you not asking question how can somebody that is your mate suddenly become another thing and you think it's by luck you are foolish find out there must be a material that is needed for molding men in this system eh? something that have a consistent material to make men into the kind of disciple that God intends such men that have the capacity to bear the, the burden the burden of labor for the last days I'm not saying you are not doing well you are not trying you know she say you know they work you they try you know they work it is a, if you go heaven you tell them say I they try I they try they say guy guy you try can enter for trying for trying what for trying enter sometimes when you when you now see the discipleship manual you will find that it's different from the one your church is using that is making you to rise and fall every day because the spirit was excluded from it in the most important areas 